close your eyes and be with your breath wherever you feel it. You might feel it at the nose, you might feel it at the chest, anywhere where there's some movement in the body that lets you know now the breath is coming in, now the breath is going out. Try to stay right there. That's your anchor for the mind. Because otherwise the mind gets blown around by all kinds of storms. The storms of greed, the storms of aversion, the storms of delusion. And if you don't have a good anchor, you never know where you're going to end up. But if your anchor is strong, okay, these things can come and then they just blow away and you're, you're left safe without having been blown around by them. So it's important that we have this kind of foundation inside the mind. Because the storms are both inside and outside. All kinds of events can happen outside. And the worst thing that happened to us, of course, is that it events force us to act in ways that are unskillful. I mean, being born in the world, there's going to be good and bad, but you don't have to act in a bad way. You can act in skillful ways even when the situation around you is bad. But that requires a really solid mind. That way you can learn how to trust yourself so you won't cause trouble, either for yourself or for other people. So you're trying to make your mind solidly established right here with a sense of well-being, because this is what keeps you here. If the breath doesn't feel good, you're not going to want to stay with it. You're going to want to go off someplace else. But if you realize, okay, the way you're breathing can be changed, and you can relate to the breath in a way that really is nourishing, that really is easy to settle down with and stay with for long periods of time, because it just feels so good. Have you learned how to breathe that way? If not, well, take some time to look into the breath. That provides you with the foundation that you need. And then when good things come up, bad things come up, okay, you're not blown around by them. You could stay right here. And when you stay right here, then it's a lot easier to figure out what's the skillful thing to do or say or think right now, especially when you fully inhabit your own body. You have a sense of good breath energy filling the body, your awareness fills the body. You feel a lot more secure. You don't feel like your space is being invaded by other people. And when you're coming from a position of strength, then it's a lot easier to do the kind thing and say the kind thing, think the kind thing, because you have more to offer, and you're not feeling you have the feeling you don't have the feeling that it's going to be jeopardized by what other people may do. So here's your own space inside. So make sure you fully inhabit it. Make it a good place to stay. Make it your home. And when you're all when you have a home right here with a the breath, then wherever you go, you're at home. That way you can live with a lot more ease in the world, a lot more skill in the world. Because the skillfulness starts right here. 